On the quiet body of water that is Long Island Sound, a unique piece of maritime history makes her way back and forth between Long Island, New York, and New London, Connecticut. The MV Cape Henlopen is one of the very last World War II ships still actively serving a utilitarian purpose, and the last, at least in the Western world, non-museum World War II LST. LSTs, or landing ship tanks, were naval transports designed to land vehicles, cargo, and troops right onto the beaches during the Second World War. The Cape Henlopen was originally built as LST-510 in 1943 out of Jefferson, Indiana, and saw her first serious operation at the D-Day landings in Normandy on June 6, 1944, landing troops and cargo via LCTs. She's in service for the Cross Sound Ferry, and has been acting as a ferry for various lines since 1960. While passenger accommodations have been added and much effort has been made to make her comfortable, her original LST functions can still be seen in use today. Giant doors on the bow would open up and deploy a ramp to offload vehicles, and today these doors allow the embarking of up to a hundred cars, who would shuffle into her former tank deck for the hour and a half crossing. During which time her passengers can walk the upper decks, dine in the cafeteria, visit the gift shop, or sit in the museum and bar area in the upper lounge. Her car deck today is where tanks and other equipment would have been stored during the war, and in the hours after the first waves of the Normandy invasion was used as a makeshift hospital. She is 328 feet in length with a 50-foot beam, standard dimensions for an LST. She was originally built with two diesel engines made by General Motors, though in 1995 these engines were replaced by ones also built by General Motors. The 510 only served in the European theater during the war, though she was being readied for deployment into the Pacific when Japan surrendered. She sat idle for several years after the war until finally being stricken from the naval register in 1958 and sold in 1959 to the Chesapeake Bay Ferry when she was renamed the MV Virginia Beach and served as a ferry across the Chesapeake Bay. When the famous Bay Tunnel opened in 1964, the Chesapeake Ferry was discontinued and the MV Virginia Beach was sold to the soon opening Cape May Lewis Ferry along with most of her fleet mates. In 1964, when the Cape May Lewis Ferry put her into service, she was completely overhauled and renamed the MV Cape Henlopen, after the Cape at Lewis, Delaware. She was sold again after 11 years and changed hands a couple more times until she was purchased by the Cross Sound Ferry Services in 1983, who refurbished her and put her right back into service. The Cross Sound Ferry Services have owned her longer than any other operator. She's still there today, and to mark the 75th anniversary of D-Day in 2019, an expanded lounge with museum panels was installed on her upper deck. Though some of the other vessels in the Cross Sound fleet may look similar at a glance, the MV Cape Henlopen is the oldest vessel in their service, and indeed one of the oldest ferry boats still in service today in the world. Aside from a few near misses and a head-on collision with the SS Chapel Hill victory in the Second World War which significantly damaged her bow, the MV Cape Henlopen has put in a quiet but faithful nearly 80 years of service, and hopefully will be around for many more.